All right, so if you're like me, what you just watched, you're like thinking, I could build a drawing app. I could totally build my own drawing program. That would be so cool. And in fact, P5JS is a great tool for doing this. Um, but one key element that we need to add here is this idea of an off-screen canvas. Um, so imagine we're building this drawing app and we've got our cursor um, and then maybe we're drawing some shapes. So maybe we've got um, you know, fill, no stroke, uh, square, drawn at mouse X, mouse Y, you know, certain size, maybe make that a little smaller. And if I run this now, so we're seeing the background is deleting all of our previous frames. So anything maybe that we were trying to draw is no longer going to be there. If I move my background to the setup, now it's going to get drawn once and everything else is going to be there, which looks more like a drawing app. This might be uh, okay, but what happens if I want to sort of pick up my cursor and not have it draw? Well, I can't really do that because I'm always drawing stuff to the screen. The solution for this is to create um, like an off-screen invisible second canvas that we can turn on and off drawing to. We can decide, yes, I want to draw to it or no, I don't. Um, and then we can display that on our main canvas um, every frame. So we're going to look at how to do that. I'm going to move background back to draw. And the first thing that we need is a variable that's going to store that we store that canvas in. Um, I'm going to call it PG. You'll see a lot of examples do this. Um, and then in setup, I'll use create graphics. And um, the create graphics object then uh, initializes this secondary canvas. And we have to give it a size. I'd like it to be the same size as my main canvas. Obviously, you could make it bigger or smaller. Um, and this is a good example of a command that we really want to have in the setup and not in the draw. And there's a couple of reasons. One is, um, you know, if we put it in the draw, every frame, it's actually going to wipe out and delete and reinitialize that graphics, that canvas, um, which means that everything we drew disappears. And then the other reason is, imagine your computer is trying to do this every frame. Um, it's a lot of extra work, and it may bog down, um, aside from it not doing what you want it to do. So this is up in setup here. Um, and then we can, um, let's say we only want to trigger drawing when the mouse is dragged. You know, click and drag, just like a drawing app would be. So we can add a function mouse dragged. And then we want to do these drawing commands in here. We only want to draw them when the mouse is dragged. Um, but we also don't want to draw them to the main canvas. We want to draw them to this graphics variable. And the way we do that, so that uh, P5JS knows um, that we want to draw it there instead, is with the dot syntax. So the name of our variable, dot fill stroke, rect mode, all these things need this in the front. And now it's going to draw them to this graphics object instead of to our main sketch. Now it's really common, and I do this all the time, uh, where I forget on some key thing not to, that I don't put it, and then it doesn't show up right. So if things aren't looking right, that's a good place to start. Just make sure you've got that on all your drawing commands. So now it's going to change the fill color, the stroke, the rect mode, and draw a square there. And if we want to see the result, we can just use the image command. So I could say PG at 00. zero. And now when I run this, we shouldn't see, oh, so, you know, actually we maybe want to add a cursor just so we can see this too. So I'm going to make a semi-transparent one, just so it's a little easier to see. Um, and this is actually a good example of, you know, the, you know, here I'm drawing to the main graphics, our main canvas, and here I'm drawing to the separate one. And you'll notice here I don't have anything in front of these commands, just kind of like we've normally been doing. And what are we doing? 20. Okay. Oops. Very good. So now I have a cursor. It's moving around, and it's not drawing anything. I'm not seeing it. But now when I click, it's adding those elements because I'm clicking and dragging. It's adding them to that off-screen canvas. And then when I release, it stops. 
and you really do need these two different um, canvases to be able to work on um, to be able to do something like this. Um, and I know the idea of that's kind of a brain bender, but this is very, very helpful for user interface, especially like a drawing program. Um, we could imagine very easily changing you know, from rectangle to circle and doing something different. You could think about color. Um, you know, in the last video we looked at buttons, so you could add like a user interface or ways of changing the size of your of your brush and stuff like that. But this, yeah, this off-screen canvas is really required if you want to make something like a drawing application.